Welcome to the Global Hog Industry Virtual Conference. I'm Andy Vance, and in this Tech Talk, we're gonna take a deep dive into the TN Tempo story, looking at why robustness to disease is an important part of genetic improvement, and how Topics Norseman is leading the way in that effort with the TN Tempo. Joining me today is Darwin Tilstra, Genetic Improvement Director for Topics Norseman USA. Darwin, let's start by talking through Topics Norseman's global operation and how USA fits into the company's big picture. Topics Norseman is the second largest breeding stock company in the world. We have a presence in 54 different countries. It started in 2014 with two farmer owned countries coming together, Holland and Norway. We decided to go after five different major uh, marketplaces, and the US is being one of the major ones. Let's dive into TN Tempo. When was the TN Tempo first developed? It was developed in the early 1970s. And it's kind of a unique story because it was a European packer that developed and sold canned goods to the U.S. market. They wanted a bore that had water holding capacity and also had good growth rate. The fun thing about it was they developed a synthetic line by using the Great Yorkshire and a large white with a composite breed. Those lines together, they continue to select for growth rate and meat quality. And over time, they developed the pure line in the later 70s as TN Tempo as we know it today. Darwin, how has selection for the TN Tempo changed over time? Well, starting in the 1980s, they selected for feed intake and growth rate, which indirectly leads to feed conversion. Then in the 90s, they started selecting more for vitality and continued growth rate. With the, also at the time, the countries decided to do single sire matings, which gave a tremendous amount of board data individually over almost a million cells. Then from there in the 2000, they had individual feed stations put in, which gave us direct measurement of feed conversion. Followed by the big one in 2013, when genomic selection was added. This gave rapid and accurate progress to our genetic improvement. From there, and just recently in 2018, we added Delta Canada. When, and when they moved the TN Temple Nucleus Farms to Canada. What, what is Delta Canada? Delta Canada is a state-of-the-art board test facility by Winnipeg, Canada. It selects and tests 7,500 boars a year. The two lines it selects for is Temple, TN Temple, and the Z line. With a huge investment of over $13 million, Top Eggs Norseman showed its big commitment to the US and to the North America marketplace. From there, we implemented CT scanning technology, which accurately predicts body composition followed by some 1,200 different pictures taken on each individual bore, which gives you basically a virtual carcass of a large, live animal. And then we have selection intensity. The selection intensity has 53,000 candidates produced per year, of which only 50 bores are selected as elite bores that go to our, back to our central bore testing station. Darwin, what traits are in the breeding goal today? In the breeding goal today, we have feed conversion and growth rate, which are the two main uh, traits. We also have meat quality, which is drip loss, carcass quality, which includes loin depth, and robustness, which includes structural traits and pig's ability to eat through challenges. Darwin mentioned the importance of robustness as a trait in the genetic goal. Uh, we're going to talk with geneticist Janelle Dunkelberger with Topics Norseman USA. Janelle, let's start with the basic question. What does robustness mean? Robustness really refers to the ability of an individual to maintain performance in the face of a challenge, or we can also think of it as the animal's ability to return to prior performance levels following a challenge. So we know that pigs experience all kinds of challenges throughout their life. That could be a feed challenge, like a dietary challenge or vitamin and mineral deficiency, 
could be things like transportation stress, environmental challenges like heat stress or disease. So one of the ways that we can evaluate robustness is by looking at how an individual responds to one of those types of challenges. And so why is it important to emphasize robustness in our breeding program? As a genetics company, we not only want to provide customers with animals that are going to thrive in their current production systems, but we want those animals to thrive in future production systems too. And one of the ways that we think that we can accomplish that goal is by focusing on breeding pigs for enhanced robustness. So if we think about some of the challenges that we anticipate for our industry, one of those could be an increased demand that we see from consumers to have their food produced in a certain way. And an animal that's more robust to disease, for instance, is going to be less impacted by infection. So it's going to have reduced antibiotic usage. It's also going to have reduced morbidity and mortality and will experience better quality of life and therefore increased animal welfare. I think another challenge that we already see and we're going to continue to see is this demand for labor, especially high qualified labor. So a robust pig can really meet that need as well because they require less individual attention and are just that much easier to manage in large production systems. You mentioned a moment ago how um, we measure robustness as being a key part of the process. How, how do you go about measuring robustness in those different avenues you just discussed? The ultimate indicator of robustness is survival. So specifically when we look at robustness to disease, the first question has to be, was that animal able to survive the challenge? Yes or no. And then if we want to look at robustness in a more precise way, we can look at more quantitative traits like growth rate post challenge. How does Topics Norsvin focus on improving robustness of its animals? We actually perform direct selection for a number of different robustness traits. So some examples include survival traits like sow longevity, piglet mortality, and finishing survival. But we also have direct selection for robustness traits like osteochondrosis and purge resistance. And I think in the topic of robustness to disease, the TN Temple line is particularly special. And part of that really can be attributed to some of the history of how that line was developed. So the temple was originally developed in the Netherlands, and at that time, the nucleus animals were actually kept and selected under conventional health conditions. So that resulted in indirect selection for enhanced performance under potentially challenging conditions. Obviously now the nucleus animals have to be kept in SBF conditions for a number of practical reasons, but one of the ways that we kind of overcome that gap in data collection was through the development of the combined crossbred and purebred selection program. So that's something that, that we've implemented as a way of being able to continue to collect data at the commercial level on commercial finishing animals that actually contributes to breeding value estimation for nucleus animals for those traits that we are otherwise unable to measure for them. So Janelle, what kind of feedback are you getting from customers about the robustness of the TN Tempo? We often hear from customers that the TN Tempo enhances the total born of litters, but also the percentage of vigorous piglets. And we think that that's partly attributed to the hearty appetite of that animal, which starts already then during the lactation phase, which we see reflected in the heavy weaning weights of those pigs, but is maintained throughout finishing. We also think it's the combination of those factors of having a good start in life, but also being able to maintain that level of growth rate throughout finishing that also contributes to enhanced survival of that line. We have some results from a couple of different large scale commercial evaluations that were performed that show that the TN Temple sired pigs had significantly higher survival compared to pigs sired by a leading competitor line under conventional health conditions, but especially when they're challenged with disease. Janelle Dunkelberger, a geneticist with Topics Norsvin, and I also want to thank Darwin Tilstra, Director of Genetic Improvement with Topics Norsvin USA, for a deep dive into the TN Tempo story. 
I want to encourage you to visit Topics Norseman in our expo hall to learn more about the genetic programs the company offers and also find a number of downloadable resources from Topics Norseman in our resource center. For the Global Hog Industry Virtual Conference, I'm Andy Vance.